I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Thank you for watching this short video on using a portion of your retirement to fund your new franchise business. I'll talk about that in a moment, but first, please look below, hit the little bell, subscribe so you can get access to videos as soon as I publish them. I promise they will be informative. Again, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. I'd like to talk about using a portion of your retirement, your 401k or your IRA, to fund your new franchise business. First off, if you do it right with a legitimate company, you don't get penalized by the IRA. Now, before I, I go any further, I am not an attorney and I'm not a financial consultant. I'm a franchise advisor. But here's what I know based on some of the clients that have helped over the years. I would say that mm, eight to 10 of them um, have used a portion of their 401ks to invest to buy a franchise. They've used a couple companies, one of them is Guidant, and they have it down to a science. What they do is they set up a corporation, and this corporation funds the franchise business. Now, this isn't for everyone. If you're 35 years old and you have $100,000 in your retirement account, first of all, you're probably too young to really, really take advantage of it. And second of all, $100,000 isn't enough money to even really make a dent. And you would never want to use that at 35 years old. The perfect scenario, in my opinion, is you are 50 to 55 years old, you have three or $400,000 in your retirement account, you're in a good position financially, you have a decent net worth, seven, $800,000, you have a working spouse, or you have enough income coming in without working that you don't have to worry about it. Maybe at that point, you can use $100,000 or $150,000 of your retirement to help fund a franchise. Let's say the franchise is $350,000 all in, franchise fee, equipment, et cetera. So you use 100 or 150,000 of it from your retirement fund to open the business. Use cash for the rest, however you want to structure it. The point is, there is a way to do it. It has to be done right though. It has to be, be done with, with, with everything filled in right. And that's why companies like Guidant, for example, and, and I'm an I'm a, uh, affiliate of Guidant, that's why why they specialize in this. They do this dozens of times a week. They help so many people fund their businesses by using a portion, a portion of their retirement funds. If you have $400,000 in retirement funds and you wanna use 350,000 of it to fund a business, for me, that'd be too risky. I don't suggest doing that. But using a portion, and if everything is structured right, you've done your homework on the franchise, well, Maybe it's something to look at. It's just an option. The other way is to get a small business loan, and those are easily attainable if you have good credit and you're putting enough money in to fund the business, enough of your own money. Anyway, back to it. Using a 401k or an IRA to fund your franchise business can be done if it's done right. Just use one of the companies that do it right, and uh, you will be on your way to becoming a franchisee. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Thanks for watching this video.